Oh, Shark Slicer, you've got a problem. All right. Primitive pedal power works. Direct solar panels to mortars works. However, battery through speed controller, nothing. I know the batteries have power because I can turn on my headlights. So I'm pretty sure it's a speed controller. So I'm gonna do what I've done on all my other boats and little electric car and all this stuff, which is replace the $650 electronic speed control, which I didn't pay full price, I gotta use. But anyway, it's like a $650 thing. I'm gonna replace it with a five to ten dollar piece of wire and that's it super reliable um, okay first thing I have to do is just take apart oh god it's so complicated not only is it expensive but oh it's so complicated like oh there's so many wires and connections and nonsense okay right under here The culprit. Uh, that thing right down there. Ugh, what a mess of junk. All right, so there's one wire going to the throttle. That'll come out, that wire will come out. And how many more of these wires? Oh, nonsense. Oh, okay. I gotta plan this out before I just start ripping things out. So in a nutshell, what I think I'm going to do is have the wire that goes through the speed controller to the motor just bypass the speed controller so it just goes directly to the motor. So the batteries are connected directly to the motor. Most efficient connection possible. <clears throat> but that's going to be my full speed. This will be like all the way up there. The first connector here connects solar panels directly to the motor. The second connector, I want to connect the batteries to the motor, but through a resistive piece of wire, like a coil of wire. And this is going to be reversed for the reverse. So this will basically be like, I don't know, maybe two-thirds speed. So my reverse will be only one speed, two-thirds. And I, this boat, I pretty much always drive at full speed. Because it has a lot of batteries and a small motor, and I I don't know if I ever run at a slower speed. So basically, I just need this lower speed to you know be like a motor start, a soft start for the motor. So I'm not jamming it right into full power, like shorting the batteries right to the motor suddenly, you know, causing sparks and stuff. And that function is actually taken up by the solar panels because right now. There's enough sun on the solar panels to start the motor up, and I could go from that directly to uh, full speed. However, if I'm driving in the dark, you know, I want to have an intermediary for the battery connectors. So, yeah, the only one that's all right. Let me just let me just see if I can follow all these wires and figure out what I can pull out. Oh, and my boat right over here, you only see the back end of it, but you know, it goes way up there. This boat has the kind of speed controller I'm about to put in here. Um, it's just like a little resistive coil of wire up in the ceiling there. It's super simple. It's just a, you know, it's just a resistor, basically, like you'd, like you'd have on a little toy thing, but just, just made big. Not much I can go wrong with it. People tell me, oh, you shouldn't do that, but... They used to do. They used to actually do this on older style golf carts, but then they started using these fancy speed controllers, which you get all kinds of fine tune. You can program it, and all. it's just it's just overly complicated, overly expensive. They break easily. Yeah, I like I like the old style with just the. It's almost like mechanical, electrical stuff. You know, it's just just uh, putting electricity through a few different coils of wire that have different resistances. Um, yeah, it totally works great. I've had no problems at all having that set up. But with these things, yeah, every once in a while I have to like 
disconnect everything, figure out what's wrong, do all this troubleshooting. Who are you supposed to be? All right, I got all this garbage out and just totally bypassed it. So if I put my switch all the way to forward, it should connect the batteries directly to the motor. And there should be, yeah. There's enough solar power right now that I can use that as the intermediary so I don't have to just jump right into full power. So hopefully, oh, I just put the motor in the water too so you can tell the difference. Okay, so that's running on the solar panels. And when I push this all the way forward, it should go faster. Ooh. Yeah, 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 that moved the whole boat. All right, beauty. Hey, you're not supposed to swear, mister. <laughs> yeah, totally works. Um, so now I need to... Man, that kind of torqued hard. <laughs> Twisted the whole thing. Um, now I need to connect... at like two-thirds speed to this middle switch. So it goes solar panels, two-thirds speed or half, somewhere around there, and then full speed. And I have a piece of nichrome wire here. Pass me that. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like my favorite kind of speed controller ever now. Now that I've used it a few times, and I've just never had any problems with it. It's just a piece of wire that has a fairly high amount of resistance, like compared to a copper wire. It's still, it's still not that resistant. Um, just compared to a copper wire, it's pretty resistant. So, I'm guessing, I'm guessing I'll use like half of this. And I'll just coil it up, maybe attach it to the ceiling right here so it's out of the way. Have a wire coming from the switch under my thing up here doo -doo -doo, to the coil, doo -doo 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 -doo, back through. It doesn't have to be efficient, so I can have a long wire. It, in fact, it needs to not be efficient because it's, it's going to slow down the electricity. Man, I'm totally guessing on how much I need. You know what I need to do? I need to connect the, I need to put the wires through here to where this is going to go and then I can hold this up to it, up to the wires at different lengths and see how much of this I need to use to, to get the correct effect. So let's just do that one more time. Yeah, that is, that is good. Oh, beauty. <laughs> you know, I think I think it's going to go faster than it ever did with that other speed controller because I think that speed controller was limiting the current Why? to not the maximum force of the or the maximum power of the motor. So I think we'll actually go faster in this boat yeah. with this. Uh -huh. Of course, I'll have, to, I'll have to wait and see. And when I made this switch, I need to clean this off. It's got a lot of corrosion and crap on it. Well, it still works. When I made this switch, I made sure that it could contact the first two things way before it contacts the full power. So that'll work out really well for this. So they'll get to there, that'll be thing, and then, yeah, full power is hitting those. And then, ooh, I better not go reverse. If I do reverse right now, it's going to reverse in full power. And it's gonna... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, so I need to disconnect one of those wires. Because... This is connected reversed to these, that's so it runs reverse, but yeah, I need to have this connected in reverse to this, because I don't want it to go jump into full power reverse, I want it to jump into the, the medium speed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's so much less mess down here now. Now I just have a positive everything and a negative everything, and mostly it's like, you know, all the batteries come into the here and into here, and then two wires come off there to the motor, a couple wires go off to my bug sucker here, which is just like a light and a fan blowing in and a, like a, I don't know, a piece of netting stuff. So this, this spends all day and night catching bugs. And then a couple of those wires go through this switch to headlights up in the front. It's daylight right now, so you wouldn't even really see them if I turned them on. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the video? Yeah.
All right, this is half the wire. <laughs> half That's the most dense with the host down by the bay, down by the bay. Oh, Alright, right, half of that piece of wire should do it. Oh wow, I've got like four different projects <laughs> in the works here. Plus the second floor, all these things. Alright, whatever. We're being productive, getting lots done. I'm gonna flip that over in a minute and spray the other side when this side's dry. I have two holes here. That's to put bolts for the coil, and then four holes here to rivet it to the boat. Alright, well that's drying. I need to make where these go. Yeah, they curl that way. So I can put bolts in them. Man, this wire's pretty hard. Be about the right size. All right. Yeah, let's just put a bit of this too. All right, bits and pieces. I guess I'll just assemble it up there. Rivet it onto that tube, right. All right, what the stripe is that showing? Hmm. Put that there, put the coil up there. It'll be far enough away from this that it won't touch. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, wire comes there, you see a coil to the other wire. Which you need a couple zip ties or something to get it out of the way. Alright, supposedly, if I push this backwards. That's good. I don't want to jam it into reverse when it's spinning backwards because you'll like kind of be rough on it. Maybe. Okay. Uh, the only thing missing right now is what? What? Some sort of safety device. Oh. Because <laughs> right now this is just on. Like if you came over here and leaned on this, it would turn the boat on. So I want to have something where I can disconnect all the electricity. Like a safety device? Like a button that you push to turn everything off? Well, like a switch. Like on your zombie chopper? On the zombie chopper, yeah. There's a big switch. Mm -hmm. that turns power on, power off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And I know why you put it on that boat, because that motor is always in the water. Well, that's not why I put it on that boat. I put it on that boat because 
it's always good to have a way to make it so dirty. <laughs> it's good to have a way to, to, to totally turn off the power. So why did you put that there? That needs to connect to that. Oh. So yeah, just wrap the wire around. Uh, I kind of want to go for a drive. Yeah. Right, we should be functional. I'm going to. Do you think I should? You thought that's why we're going backwards. I told her we're supposed to not get out of here. We're not just going to zoom going backwards. Weird, I keep going to turn this. This doesn't do anything anymore. Why did you cut that? This? The wire? Because that doesn't do anything anymore. The, the, the car came, you were here when I took that old whole speed controller out, right? Oh, that's not this one. There has to be one. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Oh, Just have to make sure that going from uh, middle speed to high speed doesn't make the thing jerk too much. It looks good though. I think it's good. Or if you slowly well, go to that. No, it's, you, it doesn't matter how slow you do it. As soon as it touches each contact, it connects. So this, that's just a solar panel. This is battery slow speed, which is a little bit faster, which is good. And then this is slow speed. Oh, it doesn't jerk, yeah, it doesn't jerk too much at all. And you know, is, um, I'm pretty sure the motor's going faster than it was on the speed controller. So, is that, do you think that's why it's jerking? No. Okay, you know with the, the old electric speed controller? Sometimes the motor would go fast, and sometimes I'd put it to full speed and it wouldn't go as fast. Now it's going full speed all the time, whenever I put it to full speed. So, I'm pretty sure we're going faster now with this. Don't try to paddle over. Don't move. So my only, the only thing I've been wondering is if I'm going to want more than like three speeds. Really two speeds. Because in the dark we'll only have two speeds. Here's the reverse. So there's a couple things I need to check. I need to make sure my medium speed is low enough that the motor doesn't jerk when it starts. Okay, listen. Seems like it kind of revs up slowly, right? Because the problem is when a motor is not moving, it has less resistance, so the electricity can go really fast through it. But, the little coil wire here, that slows down the electricity so the motor doesn't get overloaded when it's starting. So like about. if it got overloaded, the thing... Well, if it gets overloaded, it's just hard on the motor. The motor won't last as long. Um, um, so it won't explode on the spot or anything, but it, it does it does make it last less long. Where's Belgium? Belgium. Oh, I think it's perfect. All right, where you guys want to go? No, it's too far right now. There you go. What? No, 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 not there. Dude, this is definitely faster than before. I can tell by the speed the pedals are going. This is way faster than before.
about five bucks too next thing I may have to tackle is this super duper old motor which is still working but I, I, I don't know it does make some some sounds well and I replaced the the oil seals at the bottom which are still leaking a little bit because the shaft that goes through the oil seals is a little corroded it's just a it's just a super old motor that I got used anyway um, it should still be fine for a while. So yeah, this guy's totally back to back to functional. I'm not worried about that darn speed controller not working when I'm like 10 miles from home. Good stuff. Oh, I gotta use this guy. Dig out the canal some more. <laughs> 